good afternoon, Bronx Country. On behalf of the Department of Collegiate Athletics, I'm very excited today uh, to be standing before you to announce our new head men's basketball coach. I can tell you the past 18 uh, days has been a whirlwind. Uh, I've received hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of phone calls. We've received hundreds of applications uh, for both of our open positions. And, and I can tell you we got the exact person uh, that we were looking for. Uh, it's been an exciting time this past year. Uh, it's been hard to kind of sit back and kind of appreciate a lot of what's occurred with us getting into the Western Athletic Conference, starting soccer programs, and now starting a new era for Bronx basketball uh, and hiring our, our new coach. We're excited to have Van Hipshire, <coughs> Sue Hipshire, uh, welcome them to the Valley. Very excited about having them as part of the Bronx family. I'd be remiss if I did not thank a number of individuals. As I said, it's a very quick and efficient search. Uh, we've, uh, we've worked awful hard in the last 18 days. I feel like I've worked about 18 hours a day and it would be good to go home tonight and kiss my daughters because I don't think I've seen them in the last three weeks. Um, the search committee, the advisory board, um, I can't uh, thank you enough for the help that you've done. We have two community members, Jim Board, who's a member of the 6389 National Championship team, a Bronx Athletic Fund board member, uh, as well as a, a member of the Hall of Fame committee uh, served and, and advised and helped us out in the process. Tony De La Pena, same thing, a member of the 1963 NAI National Championship team. I was a member of that advisory board. Uh, it's very, very, um, it helps out a lot when you can have those members who have played here, um, were part of the Bronx history, part of Bronx ball, and, and their advisement through the process was uh, immeasurable. Uh, a number of my staff members, I can't thank them enough, that served on that advisory board, Farrah Montai, uh, Andrew Herring, um, as well as Ophelia Lopez, who serves our senior women's administrator. Uh, they did a heck of a lot of work in the last three weeks, and I'm sure that they're looking forward to, to next Tuesday when we get these press conferences done because I haven't been the easiest guy to probably work with in the past three weeks. A number of other members of our staff uh, who were very instrumental in, in getting this search done in such a quick uh, manner, Raul Bentoncourt, Chris DeLeon, uh, Jonah Goldberg, and Chelsea Blakely. I can't thank the four of you enough. Uh, we spent a lot of time together, and, and you, did a, you did a phenomenal job. The group that probably I need to thank the most is our Human Resources Department. Uh, Daniel Gutierrez, uh, Jeanette Garcia, and Robert Elizondo. I can tell you as many emails as I've got, they got the same ones. As many applications were sent to me, they received the same amount. And they've got a box this big down there in HR. Uh, so they did a phenomenal job. I can't thank you enough. Um, I couldn't have done it without you. So thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> the person I would like to, to, to really thank the most is our president, Dr. Robert Nelson. Uh, we spent a lot of time together in the last three weeks, a lot of text messages, a lot of emails, a lot of phone calls. Uh, he's been a phenomenal advisory uh, individual throughout this process. Um, he helped me really kind of go through those final uh, pool of candidates. Um, we spent a lot of time uh, on campus as well at dinner getting to know uh, the individuals that we were looking to seek as our, our next basketball coach. And I can't thank him enough, uh, his support, uh, Intercollegiate Athletics. He wants to win. He wants to win quick. And he's very supportive of athletics. And I can tell you, uh, our next head men's basketball coach, a big reason why he accepted this job, not because of myself, but was because of our president, Dr. Robert Nelson. With that said, I would like to turn it over to him to say a few words on behalf of the university. Chris, you missed one thing. You need to apologize to her your wife for the last 18 days <laughs> and what she's had to go through and taking care of the kids and then go home and apologize to the kids tonight and tell them you love them, okay? It is exciting. Um, anytime you change coaches, that's hard. Uh, it comes as a shock and you have to think long and hard about it. But you have to think about the future and you have to think about the Bronx and you have to think about what we want to accomplish. We wanted a coach with integrity. We don't want to have a program that we're ashamed of. We wanted a coach who knew that athletics was important, but if these students didn't graduate, it wasn't worth it at all. We needed a coach who would retain the students here and would work for graduation. We needed a coach who would spend time individually with the students and time on the court with the students. 
We needed a coach's coach, a coach who could create the next generation of coaches. And if anybody knows anything about Coach Hipshire, you know how many great coaches he's gone on to help create. You know, Shaka Smart. And there's just, we could just go on and on with the names of, of who he's helped. Most of all, we needed somebody who could tone down Chris. <laughs> we needed somebody taller than Chris. <laughs> we got the right man. I said in, in the press release that, uh, that Luke Jackson's number would be looking down on the next winning generation of Bronx. And I think that with Coach Hipshire, we've got the coach that will help us do that. We've got someone who's really going to help get us ready and move us forward. His wife, Sue, phenomenal. She'll keep you guys in line, <laughs> I can tell you that. His family, a history of coaching, her family. She comes from a, a family of coaches. Their son went on to coach. He's at University of South Florida right now. So we know where we're going next. Student government, thank you for being here. Let's get the students out to the games. Let's get everybody out there and let's be rowed and let's be ready to go. And when we finish this today, when I do the Go Bronx, let's be loud. And if you just saw the posting in Facebook the other day, they said, I'm worried about him. He's an old man, and he looks like he's going to have a stroke someday because he shouts it out so loud. So after we hear from the coach, I want to hear loud, Go Bronx. Can we have our new SGA president and vice president stand up? Stand up. Coach Hipshire, I met with these two young men this week. They're the first two in the Bronx Zoo for next year. We go. Ready to rock and roll. Yeah. So, thanks, guys. Thanks. The goal of the president and I as we started the search, uh, we wanted to find the right leader, uh, the man who could teach young men, uh, not just the student athletes, but also the assistant coaches. Uh, we want to hang whack championship banners. We want to bring back Bronx Ball. Um, a lot of successful basketball players have come out of here in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and 2000s. We got a number of former players uh, who are high school coaches, Lala Rios, who's in the back specifically, um, that are very prideful of, of, of Bronx basketball. And we really want to have the right person uh, to lead this program. We conducted a national search. Uh, and I can tell you, uh, we, we covered every, uh, every uh, rock we could find to, to find the best possible leader. And, and I can tell you, we, we talked to, I mean, a ton of potential candidates. The pool was unbelievably deep, and one person rose to the top. And we went out and we got him. He has a proven track record of building programs. He's been a head coach at three different uh, universities. He's coached for 35 years in college basketball. What we were looking for was a CEO of the program, someone who's been a head coach. Uh, someone who's been in the recruiting wars, you know, throughout the nation. Uh, he's got strong contacts here uh, in the state of Texas, which is what we were looking for. We really were looking for someone who um, had pride to be the Bronx basketball coach, someone who can reach out to the community, someone who can bridge the community here uh, and, and bring that pride back in the Bronx basketball. He's been part of 572 wins in his career as a head and assistant coach. He has 238 wins. Uh, as a head coach, he's been to nine NCAA tournaments, you know, five NITs. I could go right down the laundry list of statistics. I think one of the things that is the most important, uh, when I talk to these young men over here in the green polos as part of our team, you know, they want to see discipline. They want to work hard. Um, I see it in their faces when I talk to them. They want to, they want to hang whack ba uh, banners, uh, championship banners. Um, you know, he is a teacher of young men. And I can say a lot of the media here that you got that what they say about Dan Hipshire, almost everybody in there said he's a teacher. That is a lost art in coaching, a coach's coach, as Dr. Nelson said. Uh, that was very important to us as we were looking for our coach. He's not just a teacher of young men, but also assistant coaches. 
You know, he's mentored a number of Division I head coaches out there at major institutions. Anthony Grant, who's the current head coach at Alabama. Shaka Smart, as the president said, at Virginia Commonwealth. Keith Dambrot, who's a head coach at the University of Akron. And also Pat Knight, Bobby Knight's son, who's a head coach at, at Lamar University. And so when we look for that coach, and we found that coach, uh, we've got a teacher of young men. And, and we, I can't tell you, I'm, I'm not, I can't be any more excited to introduce uh, your next head men's basketball coach, University of Texas Pan American, and our newest Bronx, Dan Hipsher. I have a great big head. I know you players will be talking about it next year anyways, behind my back. So I don't know if I'm going to put that hat on. Uh, I want to thank Chris. I want to thank Dr. Nelson and all the support staff here. It's been an extremely welcoming experience to come into town. Uh, it treated me wonderfully, showed me great vision and insight. And I'm honored, honored that you're granting me this opportunity to coach this team and run this program. Uh, before I do it, Chris already announced the head coach, but I'm going to announce the head coach here right now, my wife, Sue. Uh, <laughs> stand up, Sue, and turn around here. This is Mama Hip, all right? So guys, understand, you know, when I go home, I'll hear who should have played more, who should have played less, and what's going on, and I'll get back to you the next day with the insight, okay? Uh, Chris talked about 200 calls that came in, and uh, he didn't explain 150 of them were me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, great pool. The next, and he didn't know that, because that's my, my first request of you, okay, is to set me up an appointment to talk with Chris. Because my parents told me not to interrupt people when they were talking, so I haven't been able to talk to Chris in two days. <laughs> but I'm going to get my time. Uh, this is exciting times here in the region and the valley. And uh, boy, the progression of the school, uh, we, we want to be right in sync with that with the program. And uh, we promise to do that. Uh, whack opportunities, getting in the NCAA tournament, playing on national TV, putting a stamp on this university is where we want to be. Uh, Chris many times talks about the front porch of the university being the athletic department because of the visibility, and we'd like to be the top step of that. Okay, we, we, that's where we want to be, guys. Okay? Uh, I think you'll like our program. I already like these kids. I met with them yesterday, and since they like me, I like them. Okay, nah, I'm just kidding. They were great kids, attentive, wonderful. I think they're representing the university in the right way, and I was thoroughly impressed. We're going to give you a program that I think the university, the community, the student body, you guys, the, 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 the government, get them there, okay? Your elected officials, get them there, okay? <laughs> the alumni base, and I, I think I already said the community can be proud of. When they watch our team, I think they'll see a team that works hard, I think uh, they'll see a disciplined group out there. And as I told these guys, those are givens. That should be a given. I shouldn't have to ever talk about playing hard, working hard, and being disciplined. What we're going to try to do is get them to play smart enough to then have a chance to win. Because a team that makes good decisions has an opportunity to be successful every night. And that's what I think you'll see out there. You'll see a style of play you enjoy that involves passing, movement, and teamism. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to make it look like everybody's a contributor out there. You know, I've got, I've got two jobs here, all right? I've got a lot of different jobs, but I have two jobs for them. One's to, to make them the best basketball player they can be and a chance to be successful out on the floor. And the second job is to be successful in life when they leave here. 
I've got players all over the country. Uh, I've got ex-players that are coaching. As Chris said, I've got guys, I've probably got 15 to 20 high school coaches out there, two or three Division II coaches, a couple JUCO coaches. I stay in touch with all of them. They stay in touch with me because I think they, they felt like I had their best interests in mind, okay? So that's, that's what I'm here for. Uh, we hope our program involves the community in, in, in a two-way street. We want to give back to the community. We want to be involved in the community. And, and we want them in turn then to support us. But as I said, you got to make a friend sometimes to get a friend. So we're going to get out there and make friends first. Sue will be out there. She'll, she'll, she'll be out there. She'll drive you all nuts. She, you know, she's no bigger fan, no bigger storyteller than her. So put her to work. Get, get her out of my hair. <laughs> well, I had hair. <laughs> but everybody, I want, I, you know, again, I couldn't be happier. Uh, I'll be available. I, I, I hope you get hold of me. I'll try to get out to you. Uh, get your friends on board. Tickets are available in the back room. We're selling tickets back there right now. We haven't lost a game yet. We're very successful. He said he, <laughs> he, said he wanted to win and we haven't lost yet. So uh, we're excited about it. Uh, again, thank you. Uh, I always tell a story uh, when I'm in this crowd. So uh, I'm going to give you my horse racing story. Eddie R. Carroll was one of the great jockeys of all time. And one year in the Kentucky Derby, he was riding a horse, and he came around the last turn, and he finished third. So he went back to the paddock, paddock, and his trainer and his owner were sitting back at the paddock. And they looked at him and said, Eddie, when you came around the quarter pole, there was a, a big, wide opening. You could have gone right through that and won the race. And Eddie looked back and said, yeah, I could have, but the hole was going faster than my horse. <laughs> now, if you think about that a little, you understand what I'm saying. Well, we're going to plug that hole, okay? We're going to get in front of that hole, all right? Thank you, and I'll leave it to you. <laughs> well, on behalf of the athletic department, I want to thank everybody for coming out this afternoon. Uh, it's a very exciting announcement. We have one other exciting announcement coming up Monday, 3 p.m., same place. Uh, we will announce our new head women's basketball coach. Uh, we announced it yesterday, Larry Tidwell, very successful head coach at Lamar University. He's won four of the last six years, 20 games or more, five of the last six years, 19 games or more, and has been in three postseason tournaments. Uh, I can't tell you how excited we are about having Coach Tidwell uh, represent this university and, and our young women with the Bronx women's basketball team. Um, Members of the media, uh, myself, uh, Coach Hipsher, and Dr. Nelson will be available uh, at the end of uh, today's press conference to answer any other questions you may have. And uh, with that said, I'm going to turn it over to our leader to do the Go Bronx. Now you'll see how it's done. <laughs> Everybody, stand up. To learn. And I'm not going to have a stroke. <laughs> in spite of Facebook. <laughs> On three. One, two, Three. Go Bronx!